the uh, big challenges with the digital transformation is that the companies actually don't understand that they have to transform and which is odd because it's sort of in the name but yeah that's the that's the major problem they think they can just um, do the same but a little bit different but they have actually got to transform completely so yeah Right, so I'm having one of those really hectic meeting days and you know one of those days is just one of those days when you uh, yeah you know you need you need views like this right because otherwise you just go insane this is like an off button if you have full throttle um, the rest of the time this is just you know yeah press pause What is the business model when it comes to streaming? Well, it's all about accessibility. And you should have learned this if you would have studied the, the, the Pirate Bay and how they changed. As I was saying, uh, if you would have studied the Pirate Bay and how they changed the, uh, the music industry, uh, you would have realized that it's it has everything to do with accessibility and it was easier to use this service so in terms of streaming the digital business model for for me is just making my content more accessible using the digital channels and so that's the first thing you got to realize that accessibility and ease you know if you can translate your product into something that is easier and more accessible, then you should do that. In terms of merchandise, I mean, you got to be able to rethink what you're doing uh, into an actual digital product. I mean, you've had your physical product and your store and your your sort of normal way of selling this product. Sound. So your traditional way of selling this product has been one way. Now you have to reinvent yourself and actually create new products that are suitable for a digital market. And so that's the whole idea with, uh, with the transformation. And uh, so although you might not have a coffee cup that you're gonna sell, uh, you need to figure out what needs are driving people to use your current product and then reinvent new products that actually uh, that actually are suitable for a digital market. Uh, so that's what you have to do. I will do my book and my courses and things like that, and all the sound and video footage and things like that, that's my merchandise. You need to figure out what's yours. Then it comes to a matter of, of supporters. I mean, 
This has everything to do with, you've been advertising for a very, very long time if you're a big company. And I mean, the challenge for you now is not about, you know, forcing people to watch your message, but actually creating such a story that they want to, to, uh, to, to, to pay to watch it. So it's about moving from a, a situation where you had to pay to get aired into a situation where other people pay you uh, to watch your stuff. And that should really be your focus. I mean, the stuff that I'm putting out there, it's the same thing uh, that I would have otherwise, that I would have otherwise uh, had, uh, like what I would have needed to pay people to show. But I'm trying to convert it into uh, a format that makes it more entertaining for people to actually watch it and consume it. So yeah, that's also something you need to think about. Don't be so fucking lazy anymore, okay? And then in terms of crowdfunding and crowdsourcing, you know, the internet is powerful, it's beautiful. You can actually turn to other people to come up with ideas. Uh, and the only thing stopping you from doing that is possibly your brand guidelines for one thing, but uh, it's rules that you've set up for yourself. Creativity doesn't, you know, uh, it's, the cost for creativity, I must say, is virtually zero because it happens all the time. The only thing you have got to be is prepared to listen. And so that's why I look for my thousand paying subscribers, supporters, because I know that all the creativity that I'll need will come from them. And that's a very suitable digital business model. So that's how I would start thinking uh, in terms of using my four four uh, uh, business models or uh, ways to make money online. That's how I would sort of make them a little bit more abstract um, and relevant for you. So that's a question that I get a lot.